with the little trigonometric identities so prove that 1 minus cos over 1 plus cos equals tangent squared since we have just theta on the right here what we need to prove we need to use the double angle formula in the mf19 so we have this the mf19 cos double angle formula and to figure out which form we have to use just look at the 1 minus and 1 plus here in order to cancel out this one we have to use one minus two sine squared so that we can cancel out the one and two cos squared minus one so that we can cancel out minus one okay so that's what um, we do after we cancel out we cancel out we have well two divided by two also cancel out sine over cos is tangent so that's why we have tangent squared what we need to prove so what we need to integrate is actually tangent squared from the previous part we know that this is equal to tangent squared so um to integrate a tangent we can just i mean tangent squared we can just use this formula first here so um if we subtract one from both sides we're gonna get tangent squared equals secant squared minus one that's what we do here secant squared minus one because we can integrate secant squared we have the mf19 integration formula the integral of secant is just tangent and of course the integral is one is just theta so after we integrate we plug in the top and the bottom limits of integration and use a calculator this is root 3 and this is root 3 over 3 using a calculator don't forget it's still minus times minus times and if we um, simplify the one with root 3 here we have 1 minus 1 third and for the pi we have minus 1 third plus 1 6 and then we use a calculator here we have we have two thirds and from here we have minus one sixth so this is the final answer in exact value all right i'll see you again next time